Okay, hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial with Hirsch Agrawal. And today, um, again, as you've probably gotten used to hearing me say, I'm doing something new. Um, and actually this is going to be sort of a web development series. Um, we're going to start off by doing stuff in PHP and HTML, and I'm going to teach you how to make your own website, and potentially how to host it from your own house, just for testing purposes and stuff. Um, there are a lot of tutorials on PHP and HTML on the web, but most of them don't show you how to use the two languages together, and that's kind of the most important thing. So, I'm going to hopefully teach you how to do that, and... Uh, you guys should be able to make your own website. And in case you haven't noticed, I am sick today. Uh, I stayed home from school, but decided I should just record a tutorial for you guys since I have nothing else to do. Um, so, first thing you need to do is download this program called XAMPP. Now, uh, there are other ways to do this, but I think using XAMPP is the easiest. Basically, it just installs all of the stuff for you that you need. Um, so you just want to go to this website. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, click on Windows or whatever language you're using. Um, I mean, not whatever language, whatever operating system. And then you want to click Download XAMPP and just download the installer. That's probably the easiest, unless you want something else. Um, yeah, so you just down click on that to download it, and hopefully you guys are comfortable installing software yourself. So. I'm going to assume you are. Um, after you download and install that, and you can probably just leave it at the default settings, what you want to do is you want to go to your computer, go to your C drive, then you should have a folder called XAMPP, then go to htdocs, and you should have a bunch of folders. Uh, you won't have all the stuff I have because a lot of these are my own um, projects, but you should get something like this and you should have a few files down here which I've already deleted those so what you want to do is just delete all of those so now that you've done that uh, the first thing that we want to do is just create a basic um, index file so this is what's going to show up whenever you go to your website so what we need to do and we're just doing this to test it so you need to get something that you can use to create your files. I'm using a program called Sublime Text 2. And if you go to your browser, you can type in Sublime Text 2. And it's a free software. And, well, sort of. They have this thing, and it's a beta, so it might not be free forever. But for now, it's free. So, yeah, you might as well just download that. Um, and you can use any program really such as notepad plus plus that's a good program too but i like this one a lot so um i don't need it but yeah just install that because basically this will give you code highlighting and stuff and it makes it a lot easier so once you install this what you want to do is you want to type in um just start typing and we're going to create a new html document so let's just create uh these and let's just create a uh, heading size two. So just do this. So basically, uh, we're just opening the HTML file. Now I'm gonna be kind of assuming that you have a basic understanding of HTML, but you don't. You don't need it, but it'll help for these tutorials. I just had to take a sip of water. Sorry. Um. So and then let's just type in. Um, let's type in hello world. Um, okay. That's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. And as you can see, nothing's highlighted right now, so this isn't very useful. But the way you need to do that is just go to file, uh, save as, and you need to save it into that htdocs folder. So go to computer, c, xamp, htdocs, and save it here as index html and then hit save so now you can see it starts highlighting all of these special parts of the code so the html is in pink um, all of these sort of uh, opening things and closing statements are in pink and as you start to use the program more you'll see how those are useful so let's also just add the title um, and we can type in server 
version 0 0.0.1 so it's alpha 1 um, I like to do that, I don't know why okay, so now we have this simple HTML page and the way you run it to see what it looks like is you just go to your web browser and type in localhost like that, and just go to it, and here you go hello world, and then the title up here server version 0.0.1 so that's pretty good. Um, you now have a simple HTML website, and um, if you know a little bit of HTML, you can literally put anything here and have it run uh, your HTML. Of course, I'm also going to be teaching you how to do stuff with PHP and how to um, create some more advanced stuff. But for now, um, this is the first tutorial. I was just showing you how to install everything, and in the next tutorial, will go on to making an actual website. So thank you very much for watching this um, and I'll see you in the next